Hi everybody. Okay, we are going to get started on the May Club Q kit. This kit is called A Day in the Sun. Um, I love this one. It has lots of little details, but it's super easy to put together. Uh, the flip-flops in the sun have um, kind of delicate die cuts, um, lots of fun things with this one. Fun colors. The powder puff chalking inks we will be using are Barn Board, Fall Leaves, Baja Blue, Lemon Drop. I will mention different colors throughout the video because there's lots of different ones. I'll probably use different ones. Um, but what we are going to do to get started is do our cutting diagrams. So at the very top of our instructions, the cutting diagrams are always or the cutting um, instructions are always at the top there. We have one cutting diagram, so if you go ahead and get that out, looks like this. We are going to cut this 12 by 12 according to this diagram. We also have a smaller piece of white paper with red scratch on it, and that is going to be cut in half as well. And that's all the cutting we have. So let's get started. We'll get our pieces cut. First of all, we are actually going to do this cut right here. So at five inches, we're going to get these three out of the way first. So if you cut at five inches, and then we will turn it and we will cut it at four again at four, and again at three. So four, and trim. Move it in four, and trim. Move it in to three, and trim. And this last little piece is scrap. And at any time you can pause throughout here, get things cut, then hit play, and we'll all be on the same page. Okay, after that, we are going to do this piece up here. So I'm just going to cut it all the way across at four and three quarters. So put your paper in lengthwise at oh, four and three quarters. And trim. And then it's by six and three quarters. We'll do six and three quarter. And slide that one in and we need a three by four so I'm gonna go to three trim this is left over turn it to four and trim and then you have your three by four this is a little scrap here you have your three by four so you have all of your pieces cut out of your diagram And the only other cut we are going to make is this white scratch piece of paper, and we are going to cut it at four and a quarter. So put that in at four and a quarter, and then you have two pieces the same size. And that's all the cutting we have. So we are going to get our pieces and get started. Okay, since we have everything cut and ready to go, we are actually going to line up the photo backers on our page. And as you can see, I have chalked some of mine up. So you choose the colors you would like to chalk with. I did the two different oranges, the red, um, and then I also chalked the outside of my background pages with Baja Blue. So I will show you, if you have not chalked before, I'll show you how I do it. Um, you just hang on to the back of your chalk, your chalk ink, your powder puff, and I just do a little more on the corners than I normally would on the edges, just to give that a little more dimension. Um, one easy thing to do is to just run it down the side of your page. 
What I typically do, if I have a long strip like this that I need to do, I pull it to the edge of my workspace so that you have a solid countertop or a box or something underneath it, and I just run it all the way across a couple times. And then it's not kind of flopping around, it's just to the edge of your workspace and run it across. So at any point, you can stop and chalk up any of your pieces as you go. That's what's so great about having a video to go by instead of um, sitting in a class or something. You have all the time in the world. You go at your own pace. So you stop and go as you please. And one thing I do want to warn you, we're working with a lot of white paper here. You can see I already had orange on my hand and I picked this up and I touched that. So maybe have a um, hand wipe or something sitting right next to you so that you can wipe your fingers off as you go instead of touching your page like I did. Okay, so you can also chalk up the blue pieces that you cut as well. Um, I did not chalk up the blue, but you go right ahead if you want to. And we are just going to layer these up. These can actually be glued together. The red scratchy piece to the center. And I'm not gluing them down to the page yet because I want to get these all in place and we also have some little tabs that we're going to add behind here. And I just want to get everything kind of lined out before I glue anything down. If you like to glue as you go, you go right ahead. Just remember that if you don't have pictures in them yet, um, you can either pause, get your pictures in, or you can add them later. You'll just want to barely tap, or, um, barely glue these down to your page because this covers up some of the, it's over layer, overlapped. So you want to be able to get a picture into this one. So don't glue it all on top of them until you get your pictures in. And a lot of times I will just lay it on my page, get things where I want to go, and then go back through and glue it down. Okay, we are going to start with our little tags after you get these glued down. And again, hit pause at any point, get things together, and then um, just start it again when you are ready. So we have two white tags that I chalked up with Baja Blue around the edge. Each tag gets a small copper brad in there. And then these little words that you cut out of your little quote sheet, those go right in the center there. Mine are a little bit crooked because I noticed as I was starting my video that my good scissors are missing. Um, I have three boys at home and so they will be questioned, those little suspects will be questioned when they get home from school about where my good scissors are. I'd use kitchen scissors to cut these so Mine are a little crooked. We'll find out whose fault that is later. <laughs> okay, and then I get these placed. Again, I'm not gluing anything down quite yet, just so I know that everything is going to fit on here like I like it. There are four pieces of red, little banner type pieces. The one that has a little cut dove's tail at the each end. That is going to be a pocket down here. And then you have these three pieces. I'm going to line these up here. And a lot of times I will just punch out all my die cuts at the very beginning. Um, sometimes I hang on to them, especially if they're smaller ones like this or a little more detailed. Um, I keep them in the main sheet until I need them on my page. You do whatever works for you. Next we have our flip-flops. So these are ones that are a little more delicate. I, I just punched these out. Oops. So I'll show you here how I piece this together. When you are doing these, you don't necessarily have to have glue all over the back of this. You can, if you wanna work like that, that's fine. But what I do is I just put a little adhesive maybe here, a little here, and a glue pin works really well. Um, and maybe a little adhesive here. And then I put it down onto the white backer that it matches. 
And see, I think I have this over just a little too far. There you go. And then I'm going to put that flip flop there. And again, just a little bit in spots on the back. Add it to your white piece. This one is actually tucked under a little bit. Once those are together, I just chalk just the tops and the bottoms of the flip-flop. You can go all the way around if you would like. And then the center pieces, this is how we got the extra color. So in the picture, we actually use yellow for these pieces. Oops. Yellow right here. I'm going to use an orange. I used, I think, fall leaves on there. And I just use a scrap piece of paper, lay them down on your paper, and make sure... What I did was make sure that they actually match up so that I know that I don't have them flipped over. This one matches there. And then this one matches the other one, so I have them going the right way. Um, and actually, I'm going to go over this with red. So what I do is just lay these out on a scrap piece of paper, and then I just pat the color onto there super easy way to make a color here instead of just using white. And then I use a little adhesive back here. Again, it doesn't have to be completely covered, just little spots here and there. And those will be glued in there so that you have a bright color for the flip-flop piece and it should fit right into there. Just like that. Okay, and then to line up the flowers, if you punch all your flowers out, on this first page, I have these already put together, but on this first page, I'm gonna show you here. These are the ones that go on page two. These are the ones that go on page one. So I kind of get these lined up. So there's two large ones. There is, let's see. Make sure I have these lined up correctly. Okay, so there's two large ones you can see here. One large one on this page, one large one on the second page. And then the next size down for white goes on top of that. There's two smaller yellow and one medium yellow. The medium yellow goes on the second page. The two smaller ones that are the same size go on page one. So go ahead and find those and I'm going to lay these out how I have them in the picture. And again, lay these out and then go back through and you can glue things down. Um, or if you wanna just go for it, glue down your banners, glue down your flowers, you go right ahead. Um, just remember not to glue anything over top of your photo backers or you won't be able to get a picture in there. So there are three large copper brads. Two of them go up here. One goes in this one down here. Or No, I'm sorry, the small one goes down here. Large goes in this one. And a small goes in this one. So I'm going to show you on this one here how I did this. I actually so I put these together, and if you have a paper piercer or a scissors to poke a hole right through there, go ahead. If not, you can just take your brad, poke through the middle, and then poke through the middle of the yellow. And then what I do with my flowers is I fold the petals in the middle. This just gives it some lift and adds a little, little extra dimension to your page. And once they are all together, I take, I can go ahead and close this in the back. I take a color, maybe my lighter orange, and I'm gonna go all the way around getting the edges of both flowers. 
And then I'm gonna take a little bit darker color and I'm gonna go around the edges again. This is a pretty bright red, so if you wanna use like a darker orange, fall leaves, maybe sunset, there's a few different colors. And then that just kind of gives it a little lift, a couple extra colors. This one is gonna go on this page. And then you do the same on this one. This one takes a smaller brad. And again, if we're if I'm going too fast, just go ahead and push pause, get caught up. I didn't wipe my fingers off, so there's red on this one, but that's okay. We're just gonna go with it. Get that all chopped up. And I think on this one I'm gonna use fall leaves or the top of it, a little brighter orange, darker orange. And then your flowers are ready for your second page. If you have everything where you want it on your first page, you go ahead and glue it down. We are gonna work on the second page. Move our flowers out of the way here. So our sun, I was trying to make it easy for you to find out what is top and bottom. With our sun, there is one piece that has a little triangle cut out of the bottom there. Let's get this this way a little bit so you can see everything. So you want to adhere your, or, and again, if you want to, on, on the, instructions. I just did just the very tips of the rays before I glued it down. Um, you can chalk those up if you'd like. And then this gets glued down about not quite a quarter of an inch from the top of the page. It needs to be a little closer to the top than the bottom, like it is in the photo, but about a quarter of an inch from the top. For, and make sure the triangle is at the bottom there. For the center of the sun, I actually chalked this up with um, fall leaves and then I went over it with a peppermint stick just to add some brighter colors around the edge and it looks really nice once you put it back in there. And you glue that right into the center again. And once you have that, I would clean off your hands because you are going to use the white sun die cut. I just love this die cut. Lots of little pieces or little um, shapes and I love this one. And again, check out the one ray that has just the triangle and you'll know how that matches up. When you adhere this on, remember you only have to use little bits of adhesive. You do not have to put adhesive all over this. Um, on the back side, you just wanna put maybe a dot here, here, a couple dots all the way around with your glue pin. You don't have to glue it all the way down. It gets a little messy and hard to pick up if you have to move it. Um, so just a little, just a little bit, because once you get this into your page protector, it's going to lay flat. There's no need to have um, lots and lots of glue on that. So once you get your sun on there, we are, now that we have the orange die cuts all punched out, we're actually gonna chalk these up and we're gonna add our little tabs to our first page just to get these out of the way. So when you add these tabs, you want to just put a little adhesive just on the very bottom here because they're just going to tuck underneath there. This is one reason I don't glue anything down from the very beginning so I can make sure that I have everything in place, but just a little adhesive just on the end. And if you have already glued this down, no worries, you can actually put these tabs right on the top like that. Totally up to you. But these just slightly go under the top. And then out of your red die cut, you have little suns, and those go right in the center of your tabs. And again, place these wherever it looks best with your pictures. 
You don't want to cover up something that you have a gorgeous picture of. Okay, so on this side, we have our two. I actually chalked these up with red. In my instructions, I used the Baja Blue or um, any of the blues would work. Um, what's the other one? Uh, sky Blue would be really pretty on this too. But I chalked these with red. And again, I'm just placing these so that I know where I want them. And then I'm going to put photos in later. Your two flowers that you put together. These kind of go right towards the bottom. Your little butterflies, chalk those up. And what I do is I use a little glue dot right on the back here so that your butterfly can fold up a little bit. If you don't have a glue dot, just go ahead and put adhesive and you can lay it right onto your page. And you can place that after you have your photo in there so you don't cover up your photo. Uh, this one I'm going to chalk up with a little fall leaves. And then I'm actually going to go over it with just a little peppermint stick. If you are using two colors of chalking inks, you want to use the light color first. So that you don't get your pad messed up. So get these lined out how you would like them. It's hard, mine are not glued down, so there we go. And then your butterfly, just place that wherever you feel fits for you. I have it on here like this on the instructions. I'm gonna actually move this one over here. Kinda like it there. Uh, the last couple pieces, a day in the sun, you can chalk that up if you'd like. That goes right across here. And again, you can place this wherever it's not gonna cover up your entire picture. And then you have a white sun backer. And then these little pieces go on top. And again, this is where a glue pin comes in really handy. And just like that, you're done. This is this is a very simple page, but I love it because it has lots of color, lots of details. Um, very fun summer kit. Gets us ready for summer. And we, you can adjust these however you would like for your own photos. You can even add a couple across here if you need to. And if you have any questions, let us know. And I apologize about my nails. My son actually painted my nails a couple days ago and it's all peeling off. I didn't get my nails done <laughs> for my video. So thanks to my son for my, for my nails this time. <laughs> if you guys have any questions, let us know. Thank you so much for being a member. We appreciate it, and we hope you enjoy your summer kits.